when I finished up brushing the part of the road that I was working on, I went up to see Roger, see if there was anything else to do. And he said no, but he was going to have to go find somebody with a welder to work on his machine, one of the rock guards that cover up the back idler and the sprocket had broken off. He had somebody weld it before. They had, it has four bolts that hold it on and he had two that were holding and he told them to weld it but they didn't do much to it so I had to come home. I told him well I'll just come home and get the shop truck and come back and do it and he won't have to look for anybody. So when I got back, Roger was up on the hill, so I started cleaning things up, grinding, getting the weeds out of the way, grinding the metal off, making it clear, taking off the old welds so I could get the piece up tight. Two of the holes were egg shaped so they wouldn't take bolts and one was broke off so we just ended up welding it totally back on. So I'm grinding the what the small welds that were put on before off so I have a good smooth service and taking all the rest and paint off so I can get a good weld on it. I'm not the best welder in the world so I need all the help I can get but I always make things stick. It might not look pretty good. It will hold together so um, right now I'm just cleaning up on the machine waiting for Roger to come back down so we can move it to a better place so we're not welding on the grass. We want to get out where it's dirt so we don't start any fires. It was early in the year but the grass was pretty dry. After looking at how things went together there were a few more places I could weld so I had to come back and clean them up. Got a block of wood in my hand. I have Roger back to Pecan up on top of that block to get everything up a little higher in the air and a little easier to get at now that we're out on the dirt. Got wood and chisels and screwdrivers trying to hold the rock guard in place so that everything is good and tight and when I weld it back on if you leave any gaps in there well that just makes it easier for it to get broke off in the future so you want it just as tight to the piece you're welding it to as you can get it must have left a few welding pieces on the rock guard so I can clean it had to pick it off and go back and clean it up there wasn't any place to put clamps on the rock guard so I could clamp it to the frame so I just had to keep getting things and Attaching them to try and get it up into place. One thing you want to do when welding on something like this is you want to make sure your ground is as close to your work as possible. Otherwise the current can go through bearings and either put bad spots on them to make them wear or they can actually weld them together so that they won't turn and they'll wear out other pieces. So you want your ground pat real close to your work. Made a few tacks to get it into place where I wanted it. Then once I got it tacked down and made sure it was right and everything in place, I and I just started making some long welds. Not too many long strips close together so the heat will dissipate before we start the next weld. Mm -hmm. 